And thank you so much to uh, DAV for this incredible honor. I, I wish I could be there with you uh, in Atlantic City, but obviously I'm banned. It's a gambling issue. You don't need to, to hear much about it. Although I will say to the, the conventioneers, if you really want to gamble tonight, uh, leave the hotel at two in the morning. Mm. Mm. That'll, that'll get yourself. The odds of you getting back to the no. mm. All right, we won't, we won't go into any of those sorts of things. Uh, th this is, it's hard to believe that it was only a year ago uh, that through the hard work of DAV and so many of the other uh, VSOs and partner organizations and veterans all over the country, uh, that finally toxic exposures and the damage that it has been doing to veterans, not just in these most recent conflicts, but all the way back to Agent Orange and, and Vietnam era, are finally being recognized uh, for the debilitating conditions that they cause. And the good news is, through your tireless efforts, the claims process for veterans is way up. And people are finally going to be able to take advantage of the benefits that, that they themselves have earned. And uh, the fact that I'm getting the Bugle Award is really, first of all, a bugle. Thank you. I could not be more excited to be receiving. If you had offered me a flugelhorn or a French horn, I might not have accepted but a bugle. Everybody knows how nobody likes to hear when the bugle is blown. Nobody likes to hear that, but I'm, I'm very excited. You know, I, 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 I want to say, though, it's interesting. You were talking about getting the story out to the public, and that's a really important part, but the Bugle Award, I think, represents something that is also important, and I think we found really important during this PACT Act fight, and that is getting the message out to other veterans, to those that have been suffering, and, and getting the information to them so that they understand. It's very important, you know, so few people serve in the military, and the public is always told, just go on with your lives, don't think about it, don't worry about it. So getting information out to them is really important. But I wanted to call out, there's a few people that I wanted to mention whose work was instrumental, not just in getting the information about the PACT Act and, and burn pits and what uh, people were facing out to the public, but to veterans themselves. Leo Shane at the Military Times, Kelly Kennedy at War Horse, and Patricia Kimes, also Military Times. Uh, they were incredible allies during this entire fight. And, and I believe that uh, their work, not just tirelessly for years in getting burn pit exposures out to the public, but in getting the information out to other veterans, they truly share this Bugle Award. Uh, too, too bad there's only one mouthpiece. If we could build one with, with four, that would be most appropriate. Uh, but DAV, uh, your incredible work at the forefront of getting this toxic exposure bill passed and implemented has been incredibly crucial. And I hope you're all incredibly proud of the hard work that your leadership and your rank and file have done, not just in passing this, but in getting uh, the word out to other veterans. So I accept this word with incredible humility and gratitude. Uh, if you do hear bugle music coming from somewhere in central Jersey where I, I may be, just know how sad my family will be that you gave me this award that I can add now to my drum kit. Oh, are they gonna be miserable. Thank you all so much. Please enjoy the rest of your time uh, down there in AC and, and please take care of yourselves and I hope to see you all soon in person. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Thank you. And thank you for supporting USO, an organization that uh, makes a lot of us feel well, uh, welcome home when we get around to various airports. So thanks for they're, that. They're well. the best. You know, n nothing, nothing more fun than traveling around in a C-17. Can I ask a question? Why doesn't the military ever finish the interior of the planes? You know, they spent so much on the exterior. You couldn't throw a little carpet in that bad boy? Little, little soundproofing?
in the C-17, the C-130? Nobody? Nothing? You have a great day, sir. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. My pleasure. You guys take care.